tell you before you go out there, I don't know if it's important, but um, I had to do the warm-up for the audience, and they told me, like, just before I was supposed to do it, you know, I didn't have anything prepared. I didn't really know. Oh, so, well, okay, the only thing that I did, but I did the only stuff I knew, which is some of your material. Okay, great, great, great. Wait, 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 wait. You did my material for this audience? Yeah, I, some of it, you know. Well, well, I what, mean, what bits? What bits? Well, I opened with uh, Abbott and Costello Meet the Incas. Oh, no, that's what I was going to open with. I know, it's a great opening. It's my opening. It's, it's what, else, what else? What else? What else? Okay, what else? right after that, I followed it with the, uh, the world's tallest redwood crushing the promising long distance runner. <laughs> and, you know, and um, then back to back, I did the blind driving instructor winning Le Mans. Oh. It's hysterical. I love it. And the corporate uh, vice president who was originally a clown. Oh, no, I'm in trouble. I know, Those but... are my best fit. My whole opening, word for word, what am I going to do? Really? I'm what else did you? What else did you? What else did you? Okay, what else did I do? I did, um, I did, I got a kind of a role. So I did the steel in desperate need of approval. That's why, that's my impression, my only impression. They love me oh, for that. They love me for that. I mean, I had to learn to do it. Just to do what else? What else? Oh, okay, okay. I did the, um, barbershop quartet on their day off. And I did, um, the clerical error that erased Cleveland, which they really liked. That's and you my know, physical shtick. They love me for the physical bits I do. I know. Did you study that somewhere to live from? What else? I did do more. Okay, wait a minute. I ended that whole sequence with the three little mushrooms that cried all night. Oh, no. <laughs> my best bits. It is. Like you did two-thirds of my act out there. There's nothing left for me. What, what else? Well, what else? What else? I, what did, else? I did a few more things. I, I started the whole thing by um, pulling a relief map of Tokyo out of my nose. That's where I do the funny voice. I know. I can do that they voice. They love too. that funny voice. I know they love it. We should do it together sometime. No. <laughs> Um, forgotten Christmas tree ornament, and I did the loudest remarks about hamsters, and then I did, I did the scientist who fills the Grand Canyon of Cheetos, your new thing. Oh, that's right. Throw my voice. They love it. I know, like, I, I, I threw my voice, you know, and it was like... What else, what else, what else, what else? Okay, okay, I did a few more things. I did the knock-knock joke heard around the world. I did the juggling soft bit, which I bit. love. What else? <laughs> Dutch explorer discovering Pizza Hut. That's everything. The only thing left. No, no, I did the uh, dialogue with the patron saint of jacket. Oh no! I got nothing. You don't? Nothing. Don't what am I gonna do? Don't you just make it up as you go along? I know. No. Oh, Steve, you're so funny. Come on, you can go out. You make up some stuff, and I'll be like, go. You gotta get out there. You know, a funny thing happened to me. Well, um, I don't know, uh, I don't know what you've heard about my show. You probably, oh, heard I was into the comedy thing. Well, I'm kind of getting out of that now. Uh, more of the music, so. <clears throat> Hit it, boys. <laughs> Tall and tan and warm. Wait till you see the inside. <laughs> Here we are. Come on in. <laughs> How about this place, huh? It's very different. <laughs> I suppose you don't want this plant that I brought you. Are you kidding? <laughs> What's great there? something. Yeah, isn't it? Got all the room I ever wanted. I got, oh, three bedrooms, a kitchen, two baths, and a sauna. Really? It's terrific. Yeah, and all I paid for this place was $7,000. Can you believe it? $7,000 for all this? What a steal, huh? A steal, definitely. Yeah, I don't know who owned the place before me. I think it was some uh, circus people, something like that. <laughs> well, let me show you around. Over here, this is the fireplace. And uh, 
Oh, I got a big roomy double garage out there. I keep my skateboards and everything. Did you notice the beam ceilings? Yes, several times. Yeah, I had those put in. Where do you see this view? Oh, there's my gardener. Hi, Diego. Can you believe this? All this for seven thousand dollars? I mean, it's got some of the problems of an older place, you know. But uh, he learned to live with the plumbing. Yeah. I mean, could we sit down? Sure, sure, say no more. Sit down. What are you doing? Oh, I just love a fireplace. Gives me a chance to stretch, you know. So, uh, did you enjoy dinner tonight? Yes, I did. Hey, I'm really glad we got a chance to go out with you this evening. So am I. Cigarette? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, how about a little music? Oh, I'd love that. I love music. <laughs> Well, uh, would you like to dance? <laughs> so, uh, I'd like to see the view from my, uh, bedroom window. I really like that. the nursery, I remodeled it and made it a little larger. <laughs> this was originally two rooms. Thank you very much. Yeah, when I first started, are we on yet? I am. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. All right. Um, <laughs> A lot of people come to me, they say, uh, Steve, you're a rambling guy. And uh, it must be a pretty wild life out there on the road. And I'd just like to say right now, it's not really. It's kind of actually kind of a lonely life. And uh, oh, you know, after so many lonely nights on the road, you begin to develop some, uh, just, let's just say, weird, uh, you know, uh, sexual habits. I think we better drop this. Is this okay to talk about this? I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about it anyway. I don't care. You, they can cut it out. No, I have just uh, developed some uh, strange uh, sexual habits, and uh, and I'd like. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say it. I like to. Uh, <laughs> no, I enjoy. <laughs> I like to wear men's underwear. <laughs> I come into a town like this, and uh, I'll resist for a couple of days. But, uh, pretty soon, I'll start getting that uh, feeling. I'll go down to Sears and Penny's. And, uh, first, I act real casual. I go into the stereo department. You know, how much is that? Yeah, I'll come back home. Then I'll go over to the underwear department, you know, and I'll buy some men's underwear. I tell them for a friend of mine. Then I take it back to the hotel, and I'll put it on. And sometimes I'll put it on under my clothes. So then I can go out, like, to a restaurant or something, and I'll sit there, and nobody will know I have it on, you know? <laughs> Okay, I'd like to uh, share now a little quiet time with his 
I said at the earlier portion of the show, I'm kind of leaving the comedy behind, getting more into the music, and I'd like to share this time uh, just between you and me and do this little song for you. Here we go. for a minute, please? Oh, no, you can't. <laughs> He's naked as a bunny. <laughs> Aren't you, honey? <laughs> oh, I see. Uh, uh, are you uh, Steve's cousin? Oh, yeah? no, no, no. I'm his old lady. <laughs> So you and Steve are... Oh, we're having a great time. Oh, I see. Uh, so, uh, well, how much longer do you think you and Steve are going to be having this great time? Oh, maybe a day, maybe a month, maybe a year, maybe forever, maybe 20 minutes. Uh, well, look, uh, oh, I'm Debbie Allen. I work here. Oh, sure, and... sure, I know. Oh, you're yeah. just fabulous. Oh. Thanks, Al. Yeah. Well, do you think you could, uh... You know, come around, you know, let me know, you know, when the whole thing blows over, you know. There's a bunch of people waiting in the wings. Oh, well, hey, that really turns me on. <laughs> Naked as a bunny, huh? <laughs> Too tired. <laughs> Well, excuse 